In this video, we'll be continuing our automation on how to transform images like this into videos like this. By the end of this video, you'll learn how to programmatically transform videos using overlays. All right, welcome to part two, let's go. So before we jump into part two, we're gonna take a quick review of part one. And in part one, what we did is we created the actual video. So we turned the image, the AI image into a video. And in part two, what we'll be doing today is we'll be doing the overlays. So the overlays is basically adding the caption on top of the video, adding the music and adding voiceover. So it'll complete, com it will create a complete video so that way you can post it to social media, which will be part three. Okay. So in part one, just to give a basic, uh, a basic overview of what was done is we used, um, uh, uh, Anthropic Claude in order to create the idea of the video. And then we uh, use Flux AI in order to uh, turn that turn that idea into an actual uh, AI image. And then we use the video prompt where we created the uh, the, the actual scenes of the video. Um, as mentioned in the first video, um, mentioned in part one, that uh, Runway was a tool that we use, but it only allows for the, the AI only allows for a 10 second videos and social media platforms. You have to a minimum of 15 seconds in the video. So we created uh, two 10 minute videos. Okay, and then we com we combine those two, those two 10 second videos into a 20 second video. And then once that was done, we threw all of that information into Air Airtable. And when I say the information, we can take a quick look at the Airtable. In the Airtable, we use what's called a public ID. The public IDs is very important in throughout this process, which we'll be continuing today. But the public ID is basically just the the name of the actual video that's stored in um, Cloudinary, okay? And then we have our original uh, prompt. And the, the prompt that we had in the first video is a firefighter surfing a tidal wave of coffee while juggling flames, while juggling flaming donuts heading towards a skyscraper made entirely of giant marshmallows, okay? So <laughs> I know that sounds funny, but um, this is the actual video that was produced from uh, part one. So we could take a look. It looks like a, a, fire, a firefighter surfing on what looks like coffee and has flaming donuts with marshmallow buildings behind them. Okay, so we get to continue uh, with this video and we are going to add our overlays on part two. Okay, all right, so let's take a quick look at part two and what we'll be building step by step today. Okay, so the first trigger is when a record is added to the air table, then this automation is gonna kind of gonna begin. So the first, the first step is where we create a caption that's going to be put on top of the image and that's going to be added as an overlay on the video. And then we'll add that information to Airtable. The, the second is where we add our music as a, as a second overlay on top of the uh, video. And then we'll add that information to Airtable. Uh, the last, well, not the last piece, well, the third piece is where we add our voiceover, but using the power of 11 Labs to add that overlay on top of the video. And then now we have our three pieces. We do a little cleanup and that's it. All right. So we are going to build this automation step by step right now. If you don't know by now, the tool that I'm using is called make.com. Make.com is a platform that allows multiple software products to communicate with each other. It's a great automation tool. It's free to use. I'll include a link in the show notes for you to sign up if you're not on or not or doesn't or don't have an account with Make. Okay. All right. So we, when we build an automation, the first thing you need to the first thing you need to do is set a trigger. And the trigger in this particular case and for this scenario is going to be Airtable. Okay. So let's add Airtable. Airtable, what we want to do is we want to watch for a record. Okay. And the base that we are going to use is demo image video, video image to video automation. Uh, you could just double check that here. Yep. Image video to automation. All right. And the table is going to be table one. And the trigger field is going to be last modified time. That's what's used um, whenever, whenever uh, anything is any, any, any row is edited, this last modified time changes and this will trigger this automation. So that's what this uh, trigger is looking for. The field, we got to look at status as the field and the limit, we can set it to 100, that's fine. And what we want to do is we want to add a formula here, okay? So the formula, what we want, if we, let's go, let's jump back, let's jump back to uh, the demo. And if we look on the status, uh, let's edit this field, we have three different statuses. Oh, so the first status is in progress. This status was set on part one. So after we added the, the, the public ID of the video and the, the text or the original text, once we added the, those two fields into this into this air table, then the uh, in progress status was set. So once this status is set to in progress, it'll let the second automation know, okay, let me pick it up from here and we'll begin this automation. And after we finish the second one, we'll, we'll set the status to ready for social media, okay? So let's go back here. So the formula, what we're looking for is we can say status is equal to 
in progress. I already have it in my little cookies here. What you need to be mindful of is it being case sensitive. Okay. So right now I know there's a mistake and in progress and I want to show you this and ask me how I know because I made the mistake. Okay. <laughs> so if we go here, uh, we see how it's set to in progress and progress, the P in progress is lowercase. We have to make sure that that's correct. Okay. So it has to, it has to read in progress exactly how it's shown here because it's case sensitive. Okay. So we hit okay. And let's just hit, uh, let's just, um, let's just run it real quick. Let's just run this module only, pull some information in. Let's actually do this. Let's choose where to start. Choose manually. Oops. I will pull this, hit okay. And then run, run this module only. So it'll pull in some fields, okay? The second, the second piece, whoops, sorry. The second piece, what we need to do is we need to um, add a router because we, we, we were splitting this up into four different steps. So let's just add a router. Awesome. All right, so the first piece we need is we need to add, um, we need to message an assistant, okay? So in this particular case, I'm using an assistant that I created, uh, or actually, I, 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 yeah, I created <laughs> this assistant called, the, I, call it the, I call it the Myron, the Myron Golden YouTube thumbnail uh, bot, all right? so. I follow a gentleman by the name of Myron Golden. Obviously, he is a entrepreneur, a, you know, a multimillionaire businessman who based his business practices on biblical principles. And he's just an extraordinary gentleman who I follow and who's a mentor to me, and who definitely influenced my life. Um, I'm sure I mentioned him on other videos that I've done in the past. He is um, extraordinary, and he completed a video. Um, recently, about a month ago or two ago, no, a, well, a few months ago, it was like four months ago. I'm sorry, sorry. And he mentioned on his the science that he uses behind creating uh, video titles and the thumbnails titles, the, so the so the so the wording that you put on your thumbnails. So I created a bot just by looking at the video, and I'll include a link. Um, in I'll include a link somewhere in this video and in the show notes somewhere on that video that I watch, and I encourage you to watch it yourself. And it, it just inspired me to start creating my thumbnails and my and my and my captions and my thumbnails that way so i used it i'm going to use it in this particular uh in this particular workflow in order to create images for the videos for the for the videos that we will be creating okay so if we look at the ai system that i created certain certain nuggets that you pulled it says you want to use he said use at least two of these elements in the thumbnails contrast conflict controversy confusion curiosity uh, you want to have thumbnail titles that use the word why how what you want to uh you know avoid uh, the video title being and thumbnail title being identical so you don't want you don't want to have the same thing in both um you want to aim to spark curiosity and encourage viewers to click for more information and i just gave the ai a few examples and um, i created the bot okay so so whenever whatever i use this ai assistant is going to pull that information from open ai okay and if you don't know what an assistant is i did explain it on the last video but an ai assistant is basically a bot that you program you give it a set of instructions and it will follow those instructions every time and uh it's just a great way to organize data and organize like rules and instructions that you want to give the ai instead of having to paste it or uh, every time that you create one of these modules okay so I just wanted to explain the backstory on that. Okay. All right. So next, um, we will, what we're going to do is we're going to add a message. So I'm just going to copy the message here and then we'll go over it real quick. Okay. All right. So I, I, I wrote using the image description below, produce a two word attention grabbing caption that relates to AI. Okay. And you could have any relations that you would like to do based on whatever videos it could be, you know, based on your notary practice, based on your business, whatever you want, you can change that the wording here so that the uh, caption will reflect that, okay? It says, output the caption in all uppercase letters, I'll put the caption only, caption does not have to include the word AI, okay? And this is the image the image uh, description, which I pulled from the air table, okay? And again, if we look at the air table, the image description would be this image idea that we have here, okay? Cool, so that's what I did here. And what we can do is we can, we can run it. But before we do, let's just rename this to uh, let's see what we're going to run into. Let's run into viral caption because this caption is going to be fire. So let's put a fire emoji real quick. Boom. Awesome. All right. So let's hit save. All right. Let's see. Choose where to start. All right. Right now. All right. So let's run this animation and see what it comes up with.
All right, so let's check it out. Flaming balance, awesome. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to add an overlay. So this overlay is going to be with Cloudinary, okay? So let's uh, add another module. Let's add Cloudinary. Cloudinary, and what we wanna do is we want to upload a resource, okay? And let's see, we are going to, the file type is going to be URL with the file is stored. And the, the cool thing about uh, Cloudinary is that we can do everything, all of our, um, we can transform all of our videos using overlays, okay? So we're just putting basically elements on top of each other, we overlay them, okay? The file, let's paste this here. And I'm going to show this to you really quickly, okay? So if we jump over to Cloudinary and we look at their, their documentation, it gives you a bunch of document, a bunch of instructions on how to add your overlays. So if we go to video transformations and we go to the transformation overview, we can take a look at the different code that they have. So I, I read through the, this document and uh, it gives a, a set of instructions on how you can add the overlays using a URL uh, structure. And this is the, the formatting and you basically just have to go through this documentation based on the idea that you have in your mind that you want to do with your videos and you could just follow these instructions and uh once you follow the instructions it actually it's just like magic and this works okay so go through the go through the instructions and then you can get exactly what you're looking for as far as the different overlays you can do uh trimming concatenating concatenation which we done which we did in the last video you can add different layerings uh on the video which we'll be doing in this video so you can add an image but we'll be adding text in this particular case you can add music, voiceover, things like that. So uh, we'll, we'll jump in and I'll, I'll show you that right now. So the first overlay we're doing is we're going to be doing the text overlay, okay? So uh, what we wanna do is I'm using the Arial font, 65 bold, and what I wanna do is I want to encode the URL. Um, the reason that we're encoding the URL because if you noticed on the actual caption, it has a space in here. And adding spaces in, the, in URLs is a problem. So it has to be one, one, one string it has to be a one complete string can't have any can't have any uh spaces right that'll produce an error so we need to encode our text so if we go here and we select uh two the results from the actual caption and we add it here we want to encode that url so that way it'll uh alleviate the space and in this in this case i'm going to do a white i'm sorry i'm going to do an outline and this is the color the color is going to be the, the hex color is going to be 1B, 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 which is like a, a light, a light black color, like an off black, we can call it. And then the layer is going to be the actual, uh, the final layer is pulling the video. So we letting you know, okay, this is the caption we want to use. This is, we want, we want to outline the caption and we also want to, um, add that overlay on top of this particular video. So the video is going to be pulled from the air table. So if we click on it, uh, the video is is this uh, public ID. So the public ID is right here. So it's the original public ID here. And it's at MP4. The resource type is going to be video. And uh, I'm gonna be putting it in a folder. You don't have to put it in a folder, but I created folder, a, a folder in my um, Cloudinary account. Hit that, hit okay. And let's just rename this really quickly. All right, we're gonna call it, uh, let's rename it to, we just call it text overlay. All right, and let's just hit save. And what we're gonna do is we can, let's just run this, okay? And uh, let's go here, so just wanna start. Choose manually, all right. Choose that record and make sure I hit save and let's hit run once. <laughs> so what's gonna happen now is it's going to create the caption and it's going to add the caption on top of that video and it's going to create a new video let new well yeah it'll create a new video with the overlay in it all right so let's see if we can take a look at that really quickly all right so let's close this and let's find that video that we just created okay so let's see so let's see what the caption was the caption was coffee chaos so let's let's see if we find it okay uh let's go to folders and let's go to vertical videos and this is the new one that was created. So let's open it up. <laughs> All right. So on top of the video, it says Coffee Chaos. And we see that Coffee Chaos on top of the video. Cool. All right. So let's continue. All right. Let's go here and let's add it to the Airtable. All right. So on the Airtable, what we're going to do is we want to update a record. And the base again is going to be demo IMG video. And the table is going to be table one. 
and the record ID, we're going to pull the record ID from our trigger, right? Because we want to have the same record. So this is the record ID. And what we are going to do, only thing that we're changing now is we have a public ID video with text overlay. So that's that one. And we want to add the public ID of that, All right? So now we're adding the public ID of the text overlay video here, okay? We want to keep track of all the videos that we produce so that way we can add elements as we go, okay? All right, so we'll hit okay. And the last piece, what we need, we could just hit save here. And the last piece, what we need to do is we need to carry the variable. So whenever you use a router, right? And whatever we use in this particular route is kept within that route. So if we need to pull variables or any triggers into our next route, we need to create, uh, we need we need to carry that over. So the only way to do that is to using the tools options. And the tools options, what we can do is we can set a variable and the variable in this case, uh, let's name it, uh, let's see what we're gonna name it. We're gonna name it, uh, we're gonna say caption public IP. Let's copy this, make it easy for us. Make life easy, that's all, all about. All right, so, we had a, so the variable is gonna be caption underscore public ID and the actual variable is going to be this public ID right here. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so let's hit save so we don't lose anything here. And the next route, what we wanna do is we wanna take this variable and pull it into our next route. So instead of set the variable, what we wanna do next is we want to get the variable, get the variable, all right? And oh, what I forgot to do is I forgot to rename this. Come on, man, come on, Aaron. Public, and we wanna call it, oops. Correctly, ID. Okay, ID. Save public ID. Save public ID. Okay, awesome. This one. Should name this to get public ID. Awesome. All right, and the public ID we need is this variable here. Caption. I caption public ID. Awesome. All right. So next, what we can do is we could actually copy these three modules, copy, and we can paste it here because we're gonna be pretty much doing the same thing here, but we are going to just uh, change a few things. So the next piece of what we're gonna do is let's rename this now, rename this to music. We're gonna do a music overlay next. Oops, come on, let's rename this to music, music overlay. All right, so once you have, uh, in order to add music, you have to add your music to the uh, Cloudinary. You have to upload your music to Cloudinary, and it's pretty pretty simple. You just have to go into the media library, click on upload, upload your uh, MP3, and this is my this is this is the this is the music that I I went with for my videos. Hit play, you know, because you know I'm a thug. I'm thugging, <laughs> right? So I just added some some music here, and this is the music that we're gonna use. So what we're gonna need is the summary, and the summary gives you the public. If you click on summary, you can copy the public ID because we're gonna need that public ID in order to reference this audio tune. Okay, so let's go back here and let's go to the music overlay. Let's add the code for the music overlay. So let's just copy this. So we have it. Awesome. So the same thing. We're gonna be using the URL, and instead of using this, we are gonna use this. Right. So the difference is we use the L underscore audio. And again, all of this we you can find in that um, documentation that I pointed to earlier. Now, again, I'll include the show notes here. And you see the game, um, the game bounce is the name of the is the public ID. If you go back here, you can see it there, the game bounce. And we just want to add the public ID. Oops, let's just go here. Come on. All right, this is. We want, to add the, we want to add the public ID that we pulled from the first route, caption public ID, All right? We hit okay. And on the air table, we want to update the air table so that it has that music overlay. We may have to, oh, we could do it right here. Perfect music overlay, uh, public ID. And we want to save this public ID. Instead of captions public ID, we are going to call it, we can call it music, or music public ID, yeah music music public id and this is going here oh yep it's pulled it already for number eight the variable is going to be pulled from the music overlay and let's just hit save and we're going to run this okay all right let's just clean up perfect all right so let's run this again so let's hit on the air table we are going to choose where to start 
We can even select all because we only have one table. Hit OK, hit Run once, and it's going to run it. Okay. All right, so it's creating a new caption, and then it's going to add that caption. What caption did it choose this time? Caffeine Chaos. Perfect. <laughs> all right. Then it's going to add that overlay to the video. And then it's going to update the record, the Airtable record. Okay, and now it pulled the, it pulled that uh, that save other that saved <laughs> public IP here, and now it's going to add a music overlay, and then it added it to the record. So if we look at if we look at the uh, the Airtable, we'll see uh, the pub the video. Did I let's see with the music overlay? Okay, I didn't I didn't add it correctly. So we got to run it we got to run it again. So something didn't go right. Oh, I think I think I know where I made a mistake here. Come on, Aaron. All right, so I made a mistake here. So this, instead of this going into the video and text overlay, we need to change that to over here to the music overlay. So we want to add this public ID here. Okay, and hit okay. All right, and we're gonna try to run it again. All right, that's what happens when you cheat and you copy and paste. All right, no shortcuts. All right, let's, let's try this again. All right, choose where to start. Let's choose all, hit okay, and let's run once. All right. So this time we should have it right. Perfect. All right. And let's see what, it, what, the, what the wording is on it this time. I'll oh, chose some coffee chaos again. All right. Boom. All right. So this time when we look over here, it, it's, it's done correctly. All right. So we have our original. We have our public, I, public ID with just the text. And we have our public ID with the uh, voice. Voice uh, it has voice and music overlay, but it's really just a, it's just really just a music overlay, so we could change that as well. All right, perfect. So let's see. Let's look at that video right now. All right, so it should be this one, but we can confirm it in a second. Okay, so that's not it. Let's see the summary. All right, uh, seven WT is the last last three. Let's see. It should be. Oh, we can look at here. What's the last one? Okay, so it's 5W5. I might need to refresh Cloudinary. Let's just refresh Cloudinary. Okay, and let's refresh this page so we can pull in the new, the new things. What we added, and all right, there we go. So it's, if we go back here and we look at 5W5 is what we need. Sorry, put it back and forth, 5W5. So this should be our video right here. So it should have the text, it should have the overlay. It should have the uh, the caption and it should have the, the music overlay on this one. Cool. All right. All right. So the next piece that we need is we need our voice. All right. Oh, one thing I want to point out to you that I didn't mention is you can control the volume of the music. So I don't have that. I don't have the music going at 100 percent. I actually reduced it to like 25 percent reason because I'm going to have a voice overlay and I don't want the music to, to be louder than the voice. So, so if you see E underscore volume here. Um, to negative 75. So I reduced it. So it's down, I reduced it to it's only 25% of the actual volume of of the video of the of the audio, if that makes sense. Just wanted to point that out. But again, when you read all of the um, the instructions in the documentation on Cloudinary, then you'll you'll pick up all of these these tools. Excuse me, you'll pick up all of the tricks. <laughs> all right, so let's do this. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to do our voice and we're going to be using 11 labs for this. Okay. All right, so we can copy this public IP. We can clone this. And we can add this as a route. And the public ID that we need is we need this public ID, which is the music public ID, right? Because what we want to do is we want to take the video with the music. So this 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 public ID contains the video that has the text overlay and also has the and also has the uh, the music overlay on it. Okay. And the third piece is now we're gonna do the voice. All right. So we want to pull this here, the music ID, music public ID. And the next thing we want to do is we want to do the voice the voice over. Okay. So we are going to use OpenAI, okay? And what we're going to do is we want to create a completion, and we are going to use Omini. The model is going to be Omini, which is good, okay? And we want to add a message. The role is going to be user and text. Let's just do it here. I'm going to copy what I have here, and then we'll go over it together. Cool. I said, you're, you are Matt Stone, co-creator of South Park, who has become deeply knowledgeable about AI technology. And if, again, you can change this to anything that you want, any topic that you want to discuss in the video or your overall business. 
right, maintain his casual, witty speaking style while ex explaining AI concepts. Uh, write a 20 second voiceover script, approximately 40 to 50 words for engaging for an engaging video about AI. Provide the script as plain text without any headline headline. I'm oh, sorry, without any headings, text, or subsection markers, since everything will be read by a read by the voice AI. Then I include formatting. I include what the script should have in there. And on the bottom, we want to have the original video idea. So what is going to do, what the, what the AI is going to do is going to take this video, this idea that we put together and come up with a, a, a script that's approximately 40 to 50 words. Okay. All right. So we have a, a max uh, completion tokens of 2048. That's good. And now what we're going to do is we want to rename this to voiceover script. Okay, I'm just rename this to voiceover script. Oops, sorry, no. Rename voiceover script. All right, let's give it an emoji. Yeah, this guy right here. It's cool. Hit OK. Let's hit save. All right. Actually, what we, what we can do, let's just run. Let's see. Instead of running the entire thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this just so we can see what it comes up with. So we don't have to run the entire thing. All right, let's run this. Only thing we need is let's run this run. Let's run this monitor only so that we can pull it. Okay. All right, hit OK. And OpenAI is going to come up with a voiceover script. Then we can take a look at the script. And it says AI is like a firefighter, always battling through data, juggling endless tasks while riding the wave of innovation. Flaming donuts, just everyday problems getting solved with a sweet twist, heading towards a future that's as soft as marshmallows. And I say, Psst, don't forget to like and share. Okay, cool. All right. So next thing we need to do is we need to use uh, Eleven Labs. Eleven Labs, if you don't, if you don't know, Eleven Labs is a uh, text to audio software, and they have a bunch of different voice clones that you can use. You can actually clone your own voice as well and throw it into the system, so that way the voiceover or any 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 anytime you have a text that you want to use in your voice in your likeness, then you can do that as well. All right. I created a voice for myself on Eleven Labs. It's uh, they have two different two different options when creating your own voice. You can create like, um, um, you can use like their short, quick version, which I use, which you just, you know, add like a few minutes of your voice and then it uses that to create your voice. Or you could upload a ton of, of your audio content and then that way you can mimic your actual voice and it's gonna be very close to your voice and your accent and your tonalities and things like that. It'll, it'll pick that up and it'll add it to your voice. I've been lazy. I haven't done that yet and I need to do it. <laughs> so that way these uh, voiceovers could be a lot like more like me than my likeness. But um, let's let's go ahead and add 11 labs. Okay. So let's say 11, 11 labs here. And what we want to do is we want to uh, create a speech a synthesis. And um, let's see the voice. I'm going to use my voice I have and we call it instant voice. And if you once you go on there, once you go on their, site, their website, you uh, you can get samples of all of these voices and you can use one of these if you don't want to use your own voice, but you, I, I encourage you to create your own voice so that way it can be in your, your likeness. Okay. And I'm going to use 11, uh, 11 turbo version 2.5, which is the one of the later models. And the text is going to be the results that we pulled from the voiceover script here. So we just add that text and that's it. Hit okay. And generate audio. Let's just rename this generate audio. <laughs> Hit okay. All right, so we generated the audio with 11 labs. We just need to just run this module only. Okay, and then we just go into this pull the results from we're going to pull the results over from uh, our voiceover script from OpenAI and okay, and it's going to generate an audio Okay, in 11 labs. So now we can continue. All right, so the next piece, what we need to do is we need to upload this audio to Cloudinary. All right, so then Cloudinary could then add this audio to um, the actual as an overlay to the uh, to our music overlay. OK, so let's go to Cloudinary. And what we're going to do is we just wanted to upload a resource. And in this particular case, what we're going to do is the file type. We're going to choose the data. OK, so where before we was using the URL, we're just going to use the data piece. And it auto automatically knows that we have 11 labs here. Now we're going to pull in the data from here. As far as the, MI, the, the meme, the meme type is going to be audio and it's going to be M P E G. Okay, the source is going to be video and the folder again is we're going to use uh, vertical videos and then we are going to upload this here. Hit all upload. Hit okay, cool. All right. Uh, that's it. Okay, 
All right, and then what we want to do is next is we upload, the, we're going to upload the audio. So let's just rename this to upload audio. All right. And we get to say, oh, you say upload voiceover. Let's keep it consistent. And this is get an emoji. Let's hit on up. Go to going up. And today's not Tuesday. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. So the next piece we, we need to do is we need to do the, 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 we need to do the overlay now. All right. So the file type is going to be the URL. The file is going to be this right here. So what we need to be mindful of is whenever we use public IDs, public IDs have backslashes or it can contain a backslash depending on if you use folders or not. Okay. So if we go back into to Cloudinary and we look at the summary here and we look at the public ID, you'll notice that it has a backslash here. And naturally with any URL, there's backslashes. So we, so the recommendations from Cloudinary is that if your public ID has a backslash, you want to replace that backslash with a colon. Okay. And that's going to pretty much take effect. If, if you use folders within Cloudinary, it's going to have the backslash here. Okay. So what we, what we want to do is we want to replace this backslash with a colon. And that's what we use this replace tool within make. Okay. So the, so the, the audio that we want to use is the audio that we just made with 11 labs. And that's going to be, let's just collapse all the audio that we use with 11 labs is going to be here. And it's going to be this actually, sorry, is what we uploaded. What we uploaded here. It's going to be this public ID here is what we uploaded and it's going to attach to the music, the music public ID or the music, <laughs> the, the video that only has the music and the caption on it. Now we're going to add another layer with our voiceover. Okay. The resource type is going to be video and the folder again is, is going to be vertical video. Okay. All right. Let's rename this to voice over, over voice over overlay. Overlay. All right. Hit okay. Awesome. All right. Let's hit save. And the last piece is we can, um, actually, no, what we need to do is we need to add it to the air table, air table, air table, air table, air table. We are going to update our record. Okay. And again, the rec, the base is going to be demo. The table is going to be table one. And what we want to do is we want to add the voiceover here. So it's going to be the public ID of the voiceover. Good. Hit okay. Oh, sorry. The record ID is going to be, if we collapse this, it's going to be this record ID. Awesome. Hit okay. Cool. And the last piece, what we need to do is we need to uh, set the variable again. So we could just copy this, we'll clone it and add it here. And the public, the public ID that we need is we want to say, uh, let's see, we're going to change it to voiceover. Voice, how to say voice public public ID and the variable is going to be uh, from here from our last one the voiceover public ID perfect all right so let's hit save and uh, the last piece we're going to need to do is we just need to do some cleanup afterwards but we'll, we'll, we'll add that let's just do it now at the same one time okay so the last piece what we need to do is just to keep our we we're uploading a lot of a lot of different versions of this of this uh, of the file, we, one with this the text, one with, this, with the text, the music, and now the, the last, the final one with, with, with the text, <laughs> the music, and the voiceover. We, we want to just clean up everything just to keep our uh, our uh, folders and all cloud cloudinary pretty much uh, clean. So what we want to do is we want to use the tools again, and we want to get multiple variables this time because we're going to be deleting multiple uh, multiple files. So the first variable we need is we need, uh, let's see, we need this one, the caption public IP. Right, because we're not going to need that one anymore. And the second one we need is this one, which is the music, the music public ID. Add a second variable here. Hit OK. Let's do a little cleanup. Oh, yep, do a little cleanup. And we are going to call this one uh, get public IDs. IDs. All right, perfect. <laughs> All right. And the next thing we need to do is we need to delete, right? So in Cloudinary, we can hit delete resource. Okay. 
and the resource is going to be, uh, we could toggle this over. We want to make sure that it's a, oops, it's a video and the resource ID. We can just do caption public ID. Hit okay. All right. And we could uh, clone this. And the next piece we need is we are going to need, um, yep. Instead of caption this time, we could leave the music public ID and that should be good. Okay. Awesome. Let's hit save and let's run this puppy. Okay. Awesome. So let's, uh, right click. Let's choose where to start. We're going to choose all hit. Okay. And let's run this puppy. All right. All right. So let's create a new caption. All right, so I have to create the caption. The caption this time is again Coffee Chaos. It likes that one. All right, it uploaded the video with the text overlay. Now it's doing the music. Now edit it. Now has text and music. Now it's going to do the voiceover. Okay. All right, so did the voiceover. Went to eleven laughs. Created the voice. Added that overlay. Oh, we have an error. Let's see what happens. All right, so we have an error here. So the error produced that is it wasn't found. So I made a mistake somewhere and I figured out where I made a mistake. Okay, so it looks like this file name MP4 is not found because I may have made a boo boo. So under the music public ID, I chose um, the assets. I chose assets ID instead of choosing public ID. Come on, man. All right, so I changed it. All right, and let's try to run this again. All right, hit save. All right, and let's go back and let's uh, choose where to start. We're going to choose all, hit OK, and this time it should run. All right, so now it's creating the caption. Let's see what caption it chose again. this time. Oh, caffeine chaos. <laughs> oh, one thing it didn't do, though, it didn't make it all caps, which is what we, what we requested. You know, open open AI is not perfect, but, you know, it gets it right majority of the time, but sometimes there's some, some errors. That's That's cool. It's not a deal breaker. All right, so this time it pulled. Looks like it pulled the right one this time. So this time it should work correctly. All right, and I was doing the voiceover and I was deleting some, some elements. So now let's go back into Cloudinary and let's close this. And let's just refresh our page. While the page is refreshing, let's pull the ID that we need. We actually pull it from the, um, we can pull it from our Airtable. And it's going to be the voice. It should be uh, YW3. So let's see here. Go back to Cloudinary. YW3 should be this one right here. So let's open it up. And uh, let's open it up here. And let's take a look at it. Imagine AI as a firefighter surfing a tidal wave of coffee, juggling flaming donuts, all while racing towards a marshmallow skyscraper. Sounds crazy? That's exactly how AI is handling massive data, tackling complex problems all to build a sweeter, smarter future. Pretty wild, right? Psst, don't forget to like and share. All right, perfect. All right. All right, all right. So that's our video, all right? So we're able to, so this is a quick overview. What we were able to do is we were able to take a, a video from part one and we were able to add a caption. We were able to add music and we were able to add a voiceover using 11 laps. And then we did a little bit of cleanup and now we're ready to post it on social. All right, I'm ready to post a vertical video on social. So um, as mentioned, you were able to learn how to use overlays in order to add those three elements to your video. Hope you found some value here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video if you're not already. Also, this entire automation will be on my community. Part one is already there. Part two, I'll be putting on the community as well, where instead of you having to manually put this all in, all you have to do is hit this more button, hit import, and this entire module will be uploaded there. And that way you, you can have access to the community as well. All right. I'm going to be dropping part three pretty soon where we'll be uploading this to um, social media. I look forward to seeing you then. Until then, enjoy. Have a blessed one. Peace.